Hey everyone, it's Christine and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So today I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite local ghost stories that takes place in Washington Square. I did a video where I toured a few places. I toured Washington Square. So if you want to see it, I'll link it. So Washington Square has like the craziest history and before we really dive into it, because there's a lot of history to talk about and there's a lot to talk about with the ghost story aspect. I just wanted to really quickly give a shout out to Ryan Brackett. He's pretty new to YouTube, so I figured you guys could go over, say hi. Let's give him a good experience. He's a really nice kid. He's always very supportive of my channel and my videos, so I would like to be just as supportive. And now let's get on to the history. Washington Square today is a beautiful park. It's a really nice place just to kind of stroll through and have a walk with your family or have a picnic. It's really nice inside. However, it's kind of got a little bit of a gruesome history. Below your feet in Washington Square are more than 20,000 graves. That is a lot. So back in 1682, William Penn laid out five squares when he was designing Philadelphia and Washington Square is one of the original. So William Penn was a Quaker and Quakers don't believe in naming places after people. So back then it was not called Washington Square, it was, it was called Southeast Square. From the years 1704 to 1794, it was used as Potter's Field and a burial ground for strangers. And it was really unfortunate the way people would be buried. These people basically didn't have anybody or anything, so they would wrap them up with canvases and just throw them in a grave and bury them. No coffin, no ceremony. The Carpenter family purchased a family burial ground in the center of Washington Square because a female family member committed suicide. And Catholics believe that if you commit suicide, you cannot be buried with the rest of the church. I think it's a little bit different now, I feel like, because my, my father is Catholic, or he was Catholic. My father was Catholic, and he committed suicide, and they still buried him with the church, and they had a ceremony for him in the church. I know a lot of people still believe that, because I've had people tell me, that's really weird, he's Catholic, why did he commit suicide? Why did they, they have this whole ceremony with the church? I don't really know the answer to that, so I'm, my only guess is that it's not as strict as it was back then, but some churches still strongly follow that belief. Now this is pretty interesting. The Day of the Dead was actually celebrated in Washington Square, so it's a little bit sad. Slaves would use the square for holidays and events. I don't know, I just, I think that's so crazy. And I think it's actually really sad. It's like, oh, it's a holiday, we want to celebrate it, but we have to celebrate it in a graveyard. That's pretty messed up. In the 1700s, Jasper Carpenter leased the land for pasture purposes. In 1976, fallen soldiers from the Continental Army were buried here as well, and a lot of the graves are from the Continental Army, so what they would do was they would bury one coffin on top of the other, on top of the other, until there was no more space left in the plot. So in 1777, the British took Philadelphia and they used Walnut Street Jail for some of their prisoners, and Walnut Street Jail at that time faced Washington Square. The conditions of the prison were not very good. They were pretty poor and harsh. So there are also prisoners that are buried in Washington Square. In 1793 there was a mass yellow fever epidemic and a lot, a lot of people were buried in Washington Square from that as well. A Quaker woman named Leah used to patrol the graveyards from grave robbers because there was a big problem back then with that and she would just patrol the graveyard and make sure that nobody was stealing any bodies or bones or anything like that. 1805, the square was no longer used as a cemetery. In 1815, they started to transform it from a cemetery to a park. Now, it's kind of crazy. Who was like, oh, I want to turn this cemetery into a park? In 1825, it was renamed to Washington Square, and this is, of course, to honor George Washington. Or Even though Washington Square seems like this really nice place, to, it is actually supposedly very much haunted. People claim to hear everything from echoes and cries from the park to full-body apparitions. And the most popular one that is seen at the park is Leah. They see her patrolling the park in hopes to ward off any grave robbers. And she's seen very often actually. Even a police officer has claimed to have seen Leah. And that kind of helps give it a little bit of validity because not many police officers are going around making claims of ghosts and things of that nature. So guess what guys? I will be attempting 
do an investigation at Washington Square. Now, I'm not saying for sure it's going to be done and it's going to be the best thing in the world because honestly, who knows, a police officer might tell me to get out of the park. But I am going to attempt my best to go down there one night and see Leah. I want to see Leah. I'm going to bring my EMF. I'm going to put it on silent so it will still be going on but nobody can hear it and I won't be making a lot of noise. I'm going to attempt to get an EVP and film a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit about Philadelphia's history and you found it interesting. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!